welcome to subramani uh, we all hate criticism isn't it whether it is your uh, parent criticizing you whether it's your spouse whether it is your children whether it's your friends whether it is your investors uh, whether it is the people for whom you are managing the money or uh, whether it is people who have invested in your company right we want praise from everybody for everything that we do and uh, we don't like to hear anything negative now because we don't like to hear anything negative uh we find it difficult to say no to most things right so when somebody comes and says uh, why don't you buy this we tend to buy it especially if the amount of money is small we tend to buy it because we don't want to offend the we don't even want to offend the kid who is selling flowers in the uh, traffic right so there are times when i look at the kid and say how much are you going to sell today so take this money give me the flowers so sometimes you do that not because of anything else but because we want to always look good and feel good in our own head right in our own head we don't want to hurt the person so it's always easy to sell uh, to a salesman because he feels that oh my god i have suffered so much i should not let this guy suffer so for most people if you see the sales that you do to sales people is easier than the sales that you do to non sales people a non sales person will ask for more evidence and he will say oh this is uh, not true that is not true this is happening that is not happening even though you tell people that look uh, your investment behavior is far more important than all the analysis that we do uh, i have been speaking to many people and this uh, friend of mine uh, this client of mine uh, since 2007 or 2008 uh, they have been investing in uh, equities and they have never withdrawn Uh, the fact is, it's been a bull run since 2008 to 2023. Is a definitely a 15-year bull run with sharp, deep uh, corrections in say 2019, 2020. But if you slept through it, you did nothing. You did not invest more, but you did nothing. Then you've got a reasonably good return, and you, if you are constantly comparing that to the bank return that you have got, then you have not done too badly. but then for that you need one very important skill whether as a investor or as a venture capitalist one very important skill is the ability to say no because once you have money whatever whether you want to invest in uh, direct equities in uh, in uh, mutual funds or as a vc or as a uh, angel capital every day somebody comes to you with something right it is you are inundated that's the word i was searching for you are really inundated with offer saying uh, why don't you look at this investment this is great this company has done well this is the promoter etc etc and all of them look good believe me all of them are very impressive young boys and girls in their 20s and maybe 30s coming out with projects every project looks good right the question is how many times do you say no that is the muscle to be exercised you have to constantly keep saying no whether it is your relationship manager uh, who is trying to sell a new lip to you or whether it is a relationship manager trying to tell you that uh, oh you have money in your debt fund but don't remove from there because today if you put money in your debt fund uh, the um, uh, the interest or the increase in it, the increase in nav is going to be taxed as regular income so don't remove money from your debt fund you might as well borrow 15 lakhs to buy your car on a 20 crore net worth does 15 lakhs matter answer is no but this is good logic to sell right so the question is your ability to sit analyze and say no i don't need to borrow when i have my own money immaterial or whether it is lying in equity or lying in debt or let's look at it this way you have uh, 30 lakhs lying in a uh, small cap fund and this 30 lakhs is because of the 30% cagr you have got in the last 3 4 years that is because you invested a big amount in say 2020 or you started even earlier and in 2020 you pumped in little more money you have a 30% or a 33% cagr you have 30 lakhs lying there you want to buy a, a 15 lakh rupee car or a 20 lakh rupee car and you decide that you will remove money from a small cap fund to buy a car good decision bad decision time alone will tell i am not even getting into whether it is a good decision or a bad decision because it depends on case to case basis a person with a 10 crore net worth or a 20 crore net worth it may not matter at all but a person with a 3 crore net worth removing 30 lakhs is like removing 30% or uh, removing 15 lakhs is uh, is like removing 10% removing 15 lakhs is like removing 5% do you want to do it or do you have uh, other use for that money can you borrow money for buying your car or should you do this 
difficult questions, uh, difficult really quest difficult questions to answer. But uh, saying no uh, to many such opportunities is very important, especially if you are funding startups because every startup is impressive. Uh, they take you to a place, they show you their office, the office is not too great or they come to your office, they show you the proposal, they feed you and uh, maybe tea, coffee, food, whatever, they show you projects, they are very enthusiastic, there are three, four people in that team, uh, you are sure that they will stay together and uh, create that product and uh, in the long run maybe make money, but you are not today willing to look at a project which may take 10 years because you are running out of your own time, you are 65 years of age, you don't want to put money in that, you say no, uh, this does not suit me. Right. Sometimes you say it does not suit me, sometimes you suggest a different uh, approach to it, right. So you do that, but the skill is in saying no. Uh, sometimes you say, uh, look, uh, uh, I think your project is very good, but I can't afford it. Uh, I am not interested because I can't participate with you, whatever reasons, but the ability to say no. Uh, for investments, for a ULIP or any of those things, it's you have to keep developing that art. Why you don't we like to say no? Because it feels like a rejection. So a salesperson will find it more difficult to say no. So there are salespeople who come and say, look, uh, this friend of mine has joined this startup and uh, she wants me to invest 50 lakhs. She wants me to input one crore in that fund and she's uh, in that company and she's very confident that it will do well. She's the CTO there, she's a co-promoter, she's an employee, etc, etc. So last time when I traveled, I met with the others and this is the proposal that they have. What should I do? So I tell them maybe a great project, maybe fantastic, superb, but it may not suit you, right? So the need to say no is not always from the project, whether it is good or no, but if your net worth is five crores, Putting 50 lakhs in one startup may not make too much sense, especially for 55 years of age and you don't have enough time to recover that loss and uh, some financial planner of yours has said he would require 4 crores for investing. Do you have enough capacity to take risk at that stage? No. So it is not about the project being good or bad, it is about your own risk profile, right? So all these things have to be considered before you say yes, saying no is easy. Saying yes is uh, also easy and saying no means you don't have to think beyond it. If you have to say yes, you have to think a lot more. It's just like marriage, right? Uh, you may see a few girls, but you get to marry one, right? That's what you will do. You will. It doesn't mean you've seen four girls, you're going to marry all four of them. You're going to marry one. So even while investing, you have to be extremely careful and uh, you have to say no, no, no enough number of times before you hit the right <coughs> right investment and that temperament has to suit you, that risk profile has to suit you, that business has to suit you, the business has to be good. All those things have to happen before you say yes. The other way to look at it is to say, okay, I don't really care. I'll put so much money in an index fund that I'm protected against inflation. I'll put some money in a debt uh, fund or in an hybrid fund, which is taxed like debt. And I will stay invested in it long enough and I have so much money and I have zero liabilities and I have a huge time frame, a longish runway, so I can put money. Yes, that is the way you assess your own ability to take risk with the risk in that project and whether the project will do well. Only when all these boxes are ticked, can you say yes. So exercise your no saying muscle. It's not easy and especially for salespeople, and it's even more difficult for investment people. I find that they also say yes very easily. So be very careful about saying yes, saying no is difficult, saying yes is also difficult because yes could lead to difficulty at a later stage. No could lead to difficulty in terms of missed opportunities. So all these things are there, consider all this but saying no is not such a bad thing after all because you are hurt, not hurting somebody. Remember you are not hurting somebody, you are hurting your uh, spouse and dependents if you say yes indiscriminately. So understand that saying yes also can be hurtful if you lose money. Saying no can be hurtful if you miss an opportunity. It's your uh, toss up between the two what you have to do. Thank you.